Hey folks, how you doing? <laughs> I got an epic fail for you. Let me take you to Birmingham, Alabama. What, you don't want to go? Sure you do. For my epic fail segment, you do. All right. We got a customer went to a restaurant. Actually, I can't use the word restaurant because this is a carryout. We all know carryouts aren't restaurants. They're shit hills. They're places where people slap together food. Now, come on, man. We all know that you take a risk when you go to a carryout. It's, a, it's an assumed amount of risk. You know, when you go into a carryout, there should be somebody standing at the door saying, this job is dangerous. And anybody who goes in there and gets food and comes out of the carryout should know they they signed a, a waiver. I do not value my stomach. And I know I have the potential of getting food poisoning or at least being very sick and spending the remaining of the evening with my face over the toilet bowl. These are the unwritten rules of carry out eating. But in this case, it goes to the extreme. Jatari Walker went into the Good Friends restaurant here in Birmingham, here and there, there in Birmingham. I'm not in Birmingham. In Birmingham, in Birmingham. So Jatari Walker went into this restaurant. She get ordered some food and she walked out. And she went and got in the car on the way home. She took a bite into the egg roll. And lo and behold, what do we have? We got a cockroach in the egg roll. So Jatari Walker goes back to the restaurant and says, hey, I got a cockroach in my egg roll. Excuse me. Could you assist me? I need a refund on this cockroach egg roll. I didn't order cockroach egg roll. I ordered shrimp egg roll. Not cockroach egg roll. Now, I'm not sure exactly how Miss Walker, you know, expressed herself or how she communicated with the staff there at the Good Friends restaurant carry out. I got a feeling that it wasn't as polite as that. But hey, she was pissed. She's upset. She bit, she may have bit half of a roach. I don't know if she bit the roach. That's nasty. I don't know exactly what happened as far as the words that were exchanged. But according to Ms. Walker, allegedly the lady behind the counter said no refunds, none. And at some point the egg roll fell off the counter onto the floor she said, now where's your egg roll? Where's your roach egg roll? I don't see roach. So I guess at this point, Ms. Walker's really pissed off because damn it, her egg roll is only $2. Why don't you just give her back her money? Well, that's probably two for two. It's probably a dollar. You won't give me back, give this one back a dollar, get out your store. No. Instead, Mr. Chin, the owner, he comes from behind the counter and he shoots at the woman. Now, I don't know exactly what led up to the shooting, but at some point he decides to shoot at her. He shoots, but he misses. He almost shot this woman for a dollar. I guess he looked at it like she was ruining his business. I don't know. But they locked Mr. Chin up. They locked his ass up because he almost killed the woman. There is no excuse for doing this. Now, I know the customer isn't always right, but that doesn't mean you get to take the customer out. You don't shoot at customers. Now, I was looking at the video clip of this shit, and now I'll link you to it in the description, where the next day people were still lined up for their egg rolls. They were still lined up for their chicken. They were still lined up for their egg food young. They were still lined up. They didn't give a shit. A lot of people, a lot of people probably don't realize what's going on now. The picket signs that I saw, they were all saying, like in this one, the picket signs are talking about roaches. It should be about getting shot in the ass. Nobody wants to get shot in the ass for a four-piece wings with fried rice. Now, I'm sure Mr. Ching didn't expect this to happen. I don't think he got up that day and decided, hey, I'm going to shoot a woman who comes in my store, who patronizes my store. But that's what ended up happening. So did you, Mr. Ching. You have epically failed. There is no excuse for shooting at customers. That's not exactly customer service where a customer might end up needing a funeral service after coming to your restaurant slash carry out. So until you learn new customer service skills and ability to work with your patrons, I sentence you to epic failitude. I understand, Mr. Ching, you probably don't agree to refunds. That's probably against your corporate policy. But you know what should also be a part of your corporate policy? Not killing customers. So for that, Mr. Ching, you are epically failed. You are epic failure. And for that, sir, I have to flush you. Goodbye. <laughs>